Guys, welcome to the Cardone University Cardone On Demand Mastermind Call. My name is Steve Spray. We're coming to you live from our new studio here in Miami, Florida. So, guys, every week we come to you live. I drop in, and the point of my, my show here, the Cardone University Mastermind, is to help salespeople in every single industry. So, we don't focus on any type of product knowledge here, but we focus specifically on getting deals, how to get in front of people, how to get attention what's happening inside the sales process. And so what you're gonna see every single day inside Cardone University is gonna be very specific sales training coming from Grant Cardone. My job every Wednesday is to come to you live. That way we can help transition you know, what's going on inside the system, make sure that you fully understand it. And, and that way you're, you're taking Grant Cardone content. So uh, the books, the audios, any type of training that you bought at grantcardone.com and Cardone University, making sure that you're linking that with what exactly what's happening inside your business. So uh, I'm actually gonna be taking some questions today. This is gonna be done via Facebook, and this is at my Facebook, Steve Spread. That's where we're gonna take some live questions today. Uh, so it's not traditional. Traditionally, we have you calling in. We have you dropping into our lines, but as we got the brand new studio, and uh, we're putting everything together. Everybody's getting that situated. We're gonna do some Facebook. So go over to my Facebook, it's at Steve Spread. And uh, this week we're gonna be talking about predicting the sales. So for salespeople looking, you're gonna have a better opportunity getting more deals, more sales, if you're able to predict it. So for me, whenever I started off in sales, uh, I was a new sales guy. I mean, even if you, you know, I'm not gonna dig into my story right now, but kind of fell into sales. It wasn't something traditional that I thought I was gonna do. I didn't plan on being a salesperson. Uh, it just kind of happened and I needed to make some money and had a great opportunity. So I, I kind of ran into a sales position at the time and ended up really liking it. Enjoyed speaking with people, uh, selling great products. So I never knew what I was doing at that time. At that time, I didn't know what was gonna happen with a customer. A customer would actually walk in on a, a showroom. I sold boats my first sales job and I didn't even know what was going on, you know what I mean? I didn't know what to expect. Um, the only time I could really ever get a deal was if somebody kind of walked in and they were like, well, you know, show me a little bit about this boat and you know, I'd say, well, here's this and blah, 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 and this is what type of engine it is and then I would literally need them to say, hey, I love it, I wanna do the deal for me to get the sale. That was me, first year sales. So you don't have to do that. As a salesperson, the way I've graduated and helped myself become better as a salesperson and to be able to predict everything that's gonna happen has been training inside Cardone University. So here's the difference between uh, my first year in sales and where I'm at right now. Um, you know, first year, I had no plan. I didn't know what to expect starting the day off. Um, I would pick the phone up and I would call customers, but I was guessing, I was shooting from the hip. Fast forward to today, Dude, I know exactly what's gonna happen. I know exactly what's gonna happen in every single deal. I know what questions I'm gonna ask inside my fact finding. I know how to get somebody's attention. I know how to flip somebody into a deal where you know I'm gonna get to the close a lot quicker. And the only way that I can do that, the only way that I can cold call somebody who has no idea who I am and actually pitch them is because I'm able to predict exactly what's gonna happen. So what I wanna do this week, I wanna cover exactly the way that we do this inside Cardone University. What Grant Cardone has put together inside Cardone University is every single thing you need to know about predicting the sale. If you're able to predict what's gonna happen with a customer. So, a customer walks into your situation, the meet and greet, if you're able to predict what they're gonna say, are you gonna be better prepared to handle it? Are you gonna be able to handle their situation? That way you can transition them into the next step of the sales process and even get the guy to a close the way you can ask for the business. Okay, most people, dude, they got great products, great services, but they've got a big challenge being able to sell themselves or their company because they don't know what they're doing inside the sales process. So Cardone University is what we're gonna cover today. So if you guys wanna pull up your Cardone University program, pull up in a new browser. Uh, one new feature that we have, if you don't have this program, I want you guys to download on your phones. If you have an Apple, uh, you can download the app now. So go check out the app, it's there. That way you can get it on the phone, you can live stream. Uh, one, one wraparound that I did, uh, one way to, to actually get through this was I was pulling up Cardone University, Cardone On Demand, and I would save the link on the home screen of my phone. So I'm using my phone for a Facebook video right now, but 
Um, on the home screen, you'll see that I've got Cardiff University sitting right there, so you guys could absolutely do that. The capabilities are there if you want to download the app, it's there as well. When you go inside Cardiff University, uh, you're going to click inside here. We've got the full curriculum, all the training laid out. It is laid out in the very specific order that anybody should be going through. So whether you're new to sales, you're a veteran, you're a new salesperson, uh, there is a curriculum that is laid out. It is called the Grant Cardone Master Certification. Now this is the program that was set up that Grant literally went through. He hand selected every single segment and said, look, I'm gonna put these together in this order. They're gonna be put together in the right sequence. They're gonna be stacked up in the right order for you to learn, to be able to get the most out of this training. For you to be able to get the most out of learning, that way you can predict. That way you can predict what's gonna happen in the sale. Most cases, I know what objections people are gonna give me when they get to the close. A lot of times, did I bring it up in the middle of the sales process because I already know. I'm able to predict, so I don't hide from anything. I'm extremely transparent in my sales process. And in most cases, man, I wanna find out what those real objections are. So the master, uh, the master certification program, Rob, are they able to see my screen right now? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. So the master certification inside the program that you're gonna see, this is in Cardone University and it's inside Cardone On Demand. You're able to get in here and start with the beginner certification moving forward to the intermediate, to the advanced. Now, just because this says beginner certification, that doesn't mean it's for beginner people. You could be in business for 10 years. This is the beginner certification to Grant Cardone's training. This is everything you need to know before you move on to the next step. I got guys who've been in business for 20 years do this training, they start off, and what happens is, do they call us up, they're emailing us, they're sending us messages, hey, I've been in sales 20 years, if I would have known this, this right here, what I just learned inside Carter University, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, my life would be different right now. So take advantage of it, no matter where you're at. Learn, go through the program, six segments every single day. Okay, now these virtual videos, guys, are about three and a half, four and a half minutes long. So we're looking at 18 minutes of training every single day. Do it in the morning, start out in the morning. So I'm gonna go click inside sales process right now. Once you get to this point, because I think a lot of people who have came onto the program over the past couple months, they may start to be in this part right here. This is where it starts diving into sales process. This is where it gets really deep into what's gonna happen inside the sales process. What questions should I be asking? Hey, how do I start trial closing where I can start asking people questions throughout the sales process that may help me identify, hey, does this guy even like what he sees so far? Do I need to transition and how do I tweak my presentation in the middle of it if I need to? This is what you're gonna see inside here. Grant talks about all of it. So if you're able to predict exactly what's gonna happen, you are gonna have a better shot at getting to the close. Now, this program right here only talks about the sales process up to a proposal, a write-up, where I'm giving somebody numbers. Okay, it's gonna tell you everything you need to know before that. So I do want to take some questions. If you guys are on my uh, if you guys are on my Facebook stream, if you guys want to drop in some questions, I got got Rob, he's gonna relay those messages to me. So it's it's on my Facebook, it's on Facebook Live right now. If you guys have any questions, drop those in here. Facebook, let me know what you want to know about this week, and I'm gonna handle those questions. So uh, predictability doesn't only happen inside the sales process. Predictability, what about predictability when I do a cold call? Now, a lot of people are asking, well, well, how do I get good at it? So how am I able to predict exactly what's gonna happen? I mean, I'm doing the training, but how do I really predict? Well, uh, step number one would be role play. You gotta be able to have the knowledge. You can have as much knowledge as possible, but if you can't apply it in the marketplace, it's not gonna work for you. There's gotta be a doing this. There's got to be you learning the content and then moving out into the marketplace to actually relay this information to the marketplace to close more deals to get in front of more people. Now, when I look at cold calling, like I know every single thing the customer is going to tell me before I call them because I went through this part of the program right here. So master the cold call. And what I'm going to do, guys, while we're in the middle of the show today, I'm gonna actually uh, give you guys an opportunity to do one of the 10X Growth Conference tickets right now at no charge, okay? I, I actually just walked out of Grant's office right before I came in here and I said, hey, I wanna do a deal on the show today. He said, you know, look man, it, dude, it's filling up, people are going, the VIPs are going like crazy, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just restart the clock. There's one hour left, so if you're on the live stream right now, 
Go to 10xgrowthcon.com. Grant just restarted the 60 minute ticker. Okay, so it's gonna last for this show. And it's only for this show that he's gonna do the buy one, get one free, because that deal's gone. Okay, but what I did was I convinced him. I said, hey, look, we're only gonna have clients on the mastermind show. So what can we do for him? He said, well, look, let's just do a buy one, get one. Let's turn that back on only for the show. So if you guys are there, you know, look, pull it up, sw switch over there right now. So I got a question. Uh, he wants to know, Nagendra wants to know, does this help a technical guy? For example, a programmer. Absolutely, man. So a technical guy, look, guys, the first video inside the entire program talks about, look, selling is a way of life. Selling is a prerequisite for your life. You're in, you're selling in every single situation. So you could be an IT programmer. Uh, you're selling people all the, all day long. You're in and out of their offices. I mean, selling is just about getting what you want. You know, you, you got to sell your friends on where to go to dinner over the weekend. You know, you got to sell your kids on go to school every single day. Look, selling is just a prerequisite to everything. Sell or be sold. So as an IT professional, I mean, absolutely 100%. So that question is great because a lot of people aren't in a, a direct sales position where they're looking at commissions every day. Hey, hi, you know, how do I get my commission paycheck? Look, this right here is how to get what you want, the next job, the next level. Okay, if your communication skills were a lot better as an IT professional, what does that do for you? How do you get to the next level and close in deals? So where does this where does this play for you? So I'd have to know a little bit more about your position, but absolutely. Got another one. Um, Horaya wants to know, how could I accelerate the decision-making uh, process when dealing with B2B and roofing businesses when the companies I'm interested in also has to convince their own partners? Got it. Great question. So what you're going to find out is that inside uh, the cold call, master the cold call right here, Grant talks a lot about how to get in front of the right people, the right decision makers. So in most cases, if you're selling B2B, in B2B sales, a lot of times there's multiple decision makers. There could be one, two, three, four, five, six different decision makers, depending on the size of the company. In some cases, which I didn't catch the name, but the person who just asked that question, Mariah says that, hey, I'm selling to people who need to convince other people in another business. So what do I do there? So this is what you need to go to. You need to go to master the cold call. And this depends on where you're at inside the cycle too. So that's a great question, but I'm going to answer this in two different parts because I'm able to predict what's going to happen, but I need to know, look, is this in the cold call that I'm getting this? And this all has to do with fact finding questions. Fact finding has to do with how do I need to sell you? Like, how do I need to figure out what I need to do on my side? Because I know my product works, dude. I wouldn't even have reached out to you. I wouldn't even have called you. I wouldn't even have tried getting in front of you if I didn't know 100% for sure that what I do would be good for you and good for your business. So I'm already there. I know that. But I need them to understand that. That's your job as a salesperson. That's what cold calling is about. So this whole program is set up for B2B people. So when you go in here to the cold call process, I'm actually in here right now, you're going to see this whole process broken down. Now, when we talk about predicting the process, this is what we're talking about. Grant's going to prepare you for every single situation that you're going to run into. That way, you know what the greeting's going to look like in case you get objections in the greeting. Next step, big claim. What's my big claim? How do I make a big claim that's impactful and actually makes sense to somebody to say, hey, you know what? I'd take a look at that. How do you actually flip that into qualify and fact find? So this is where you're going to get those questions right there. He's going to talk a lot about, you know, how to get in front of somebody. So I just did a call with somebody today. I knew because I just know what it sounds like now. I know what the non-decision maker sounds like who's covering themselves up as, hey, I need to see it first. And so what I do is I go and do the agreement thing, just like Grant talks about and understand the buyer. I agree. I acknowledge him. I say, yeah, hey, look, dude, that's awesome. I can't wait to show this thing to you. It's going to be perfect for your business. It's going to be great for you. Hey, let me ask you this. Who else in your company needs to see this program in order for you guys to make a final decision on it? Oh, well, John's got to be the final decision guy. Excellent, man. Love that because I know you're going to love it. I mean, you already like it enough to be on the phone call with me. What I'm going to ask is, hey, how do we team up and get you and John together in a room for 15 minutes? That way we can show you our program to see if it makes sense for your company. Oh, well, you know, I'd, I'd probably just have to take a look at it first. Excellent, man. I'm totally with you on that. And I'm going to show it to you first. What I'm asking is that, look, I want to get this thing done quick. You know you would benefit from this sooner than later. You need this now. 
you needed it a year ago. I mean, I apologize that it took me this long to get to you. Okay, so how do me and you set this thing up the right way where we can get John in a room for 15 minutes where I can show him the program where he'd be open-minded to look at it? How do we do that? So that's going to be the step. So that's what I did today to the guy. Set it up, easy. Now I got a call with the decision maker, which is what everybody wants. Dude, you don't want to do, I don't want to go pitch a deal to somebody who can't write the check. It just doesn't make sense. It's a, it's a waste of their time. It's unethical for me to take a call with somebody who can't make the decision for the company. So I, as a professional, need to know, dude, how do I get this thing done? How do I not waste time? And so how do I get in front of the right people? Because I know for sure that my product is the right deal for this company. I know you know the same. So that's a great question. There's another place where you could find that. Because what may happen is you don't get the opportunity to get in front of John because John works for another company. So this is an excellent situation. And this is where you're going to find this inside fact finding. Grant talks about it inside the sales process. So what I did, I just came out of the part of the program, the sales process right here. You're going to see this. This is what I talked about earlier. So I started this entire thing off with being able to predict everything I need to know. So that way, when you start being able to predict what you're going to be able to do, what you need to do, what has to happen in order to get the deal done, because I had the conversation, I had the appointment locked down. The guy said, hey, Friday, two o'clock, that's what I, let's meet. I want to see it. Let's look at it. But I knew because I'm able to predict what's going to have to have, have to happen in this deal. I knew that, look, if I don't get the re the real guy on the phone, I'll never get the shot to pitch him because I'm going to show this guy and then he's going to say, well, I know enough about it to go pitch it. Well, dude, do you want a guy, you have a hard enough time pitching it yourself and you pitch it every single day. Do you want the guy who only knows 12 minutes of your product, who's only just excited about it to go pitch it to the person who needs to write the check on it? You don't. Okay. So it's important for you to figure out, Hey, how do I get this done? The right way sales process. Now let's just say I'm actually in the sales process right now where I get the opportunity to pitch the deal. I know that I got to close this company on it and company A is going to like it and then have to coordinate with company B. So I've got two decision makers who aren't even part of the same company. Great question. So what happens is, you know, look, I got to get the fact finding questions down right. So how well do you know this? I want you guys to stop and ask yourself, how good do I want to get at this? How good do I want to get at this? Have I only watched these segments one time? Have I only been through the fact finding one time? Because if you've only been through it one time, folks, you know, you, you just don't want it bad enough. You honestly, I mean, you can't say that, look, I went through it one time and I want it bad enough. Okay. You, look, I've seen this stuff five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Every time I go back through it, I'm actually looking back at old situations where I'm like, oh my, that's what Grant was talking about right there. And I had that same situation happen in a deal three weeks ago. That's why that deal didn't happen. Those are the things that have happened to me over the past four years using this program. So I want you to get back in fact finding and I want you to ask these questions to yourself. Figure out, look, what's it going to take? I got to close this guy down so I know that I got to be able to sell him and sell him on letting me get in front of the real company. You need to ask those questions. You're going to find him inside fact finding. You need to ask him, hey, you've got the, you've got the relationship with company B. So whenever you like this and let's say you want to get this started and rolling today, Yet you need company B's authorization. What are they going to want to see? I got to ask that question. I got to ask him, hey, I know you're going to love this, but other than you, what's this other company going to want to see? That's where you got to go in. So even if I'm dealing with two different decision makers and I, I can't pitch the real decision maker, the information is inside Cardone University to teach you how to do that. So it's going to teach you what questions you should and should not be asking, which is very important. If I'm asking bad questions, it's not going to work. If I'm asking great questions that actually get me where I need to be, look, I can set up the presentation the right way. I can have the right opportunity. So guys, if you have any other questions, drop those into the Facebook Live. Rebounding from somebody that hung up the phone, but they're, oh, no, 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 no. They're interested, but they can't afford it. They say they can't afford it. Well, that's a lie, you know. Uh, the affordability thing is, you know, it's, it's, it's a lie because they can't afford it, okay? The only way that they couldn't afford it is if the money wasn't on this planet and we all know the money's on the planet okay but i got people wanting they want the super 10x vip ticket that we sold out of for the growth conference okay they want that ticket for ten thousand dollars but they're like hey i don't have the ten thousand dollars i said hey bro listen dude 
you never had the $10,000 in the first place. Somebody else has your $10,000. So is the $10,000 available? He says, yeah, it's available. I said, dude, then you need to go figure out how to get that $10,000. So it is available. So what you need to figure out is, hey, how can I take responsibility to help this person get the money to get my product? Or did I not do a good enough job of making enough sense of the product that they can't get it? Because I know every time in my life I needed something, dude, I figured out a way to get it. Unless it wasn't available on this planet, I figured out how to get what I wanted. Okay, I wanted to get a real estate investment. Took me a lot, lot of money, dude. I figured it out in no time. But I got, I had to have wanted it. So this goes back to, did we really sell them on it? Or are they just using the, oh, I don't have any money as an objection to cover up what the real objection is. So I want you guys to think about a few things. This is what you're gonna learn inside Cardone University. It's the predictability. If you don't understand all the situations inside the sales process, if you don't understand everything, then look guys, you're not gonna be able to handle the situation in the end. So this is a great question because it brings up the fact that there's gonna be different types of objections. There's gonna be a product objection. There's gonna be time objections. There's gonna be money objections. There's gonna be stall objections. Only four. And if you've been through Cardone University, you're gonna know that. There's only gonna be four. And in most cases, look, is the money one valid? Is it really valid? I mean, is it really too much money? Is it too much money for that product? You know, are you overpricing your product? I doubt it. Okay, I doubt it. Ask yourself right now, hey, are people buying it? Good. He could have bought it too. The real problem is that I probably didn't pitch it the right way where I really got them sold. So this is what I want you to understand. Inside the program, if you go right inside sales process, you're going to see the whole deal is actually set up this way. Now, fact finding is how I ask the right questions to identify the proper, the dominant buying motive. It's extremely important for you to know how to find that and then this whole piece right here, fact finding, teaches you how to tee up. Just imagine that every single presentation you did was actually sitting on a tee. It wasn't even a pitch. It was sitting there for you to just knock, crush out of the park. Dude, that's what this whole sales process is. That's what Grant Cardone's strategy is. It is designed to help you get through every single step smoothly, transparently, easily. Okay, the presentation right here, what you're looking at. So after you properly fact find and identify what the dominant buying motive is, the presentation right here is gonna tell you every single thing you need to know about what you just found out about the customer. So I'm not gonna show them everything. I'm not like a realtor, uh, a, a bad realtor who walks around and shows them everything. Show them the, the view, show them the bathrooms, I show them the kitchen, I show them the gutters, I show them the holes in the roof, I show them everything, and then all of a sudden at the end, dude, they're so over, overwhelmed that they're like, ah, I don't know if this is the right property. Hey, show me 30 other properties, okay? Because I know how to find my deal. I know how to find the dominant buying motive because I've done the training. So, uh, great question on that one. Uh, any other question that you guys have? Anything else you guys want, drop inside the Facebook Live. And, and Rob, you can let me know if there's anything uh, c coming through that you notice. But guys, listen. 10x growth conference is happening next month okay we're less than we're 30 days away from it so what's going to happen is that look right now i just talked grant into opening up the buy one get one free again for you okay we're only doing those on people who already bought the card on university so if you haven't got your 10x growth con ticket go to 10xgrowthcon.com grant just reset the one hour opportunity to be able to get a buy one get one free so you know listen even if you don't have another person to go with you dude buy it and get it for somebody else. Give it to somebody. We'll change the life. I guarantee the universe pays you back for that. Okay. Get it for get it, the money from somebody who cares about you. It's twenty two fifty to be able to get the ticket to come down for three days. Okay. If you guys don't have a place to stay, call me, man. I'll figure a place out for you. So I'm gonna take responsibility for that entire deal. You let me know. So any other questions, anything that you need, we're here at Cardone Training Technologies to help you guys out. So every single Wednesday, I come to you live. I come to you live from the 305 to help you with sales through the Cardone University. So these are the things that we talk about. Objection handling, sales process, closing the deal. We talk about follow-up. We talk about how to get in front of a customer, how to shut a deal down, how to close a deal. We don't talk about product knowledge here, okay? We don't talk about anything except for, hey, how to understand sales, pure sales training. Okay, so I got I got, I got one more question. I got a, a question, what's, Rob's. Um, what's the thing I have to do to hold attention during a door-to-door? -door? Dude, ask him questions, man, ask him. Hey, 
What do you like best about what you see? You know, drop in, knock on the door, you know, tell them about your product. Sir, dropped in, wanted to give you some information about what we're doing. We're in the neighborhood right now. We're actually putting some solar panels on your neighbor's property. I was taking my lunch break and I thought I'd walk over, introduce myself, let you know I'm in the neighborhood. Have you ever seen uh, the type of solar panels that we're throwing on your boy Jay's house over here? Uh, no, I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Probably not interested. Excellent, man. I didn't think you'd be interested anyways. Look, let me ask you this. If I could save you 100 bucks per month, every single month for the next 20 years and provide a $20,000 increase in equity to your property, would you give me another 30 seconds? Oh, you would? Okay, good. Well, listen, here's what we're doing for your neighbor. We're actually dropping in some solar panels. It's going to take away, it's going to handle his electricity bill forever. He's, ne he's never going to pay electricity again. I don't know if you like paying yours. I don't like paying mine. I know Jay will never pay for it again because those things we're putting up on his roof right now, they're taking care of it. So this is actually a government program. You don't have to pay anything. Okay. What do you like best about what you've heard so far? Well, man, I, I like that you're going to take care of my electric bill. Excellent. Have you heard enough to make a decision? No, not yet. Okay, no problem, man. Would you allow me to continue my presentation? Okay, good. Excellent. Well, look, here's the reason why we're doing this. Blah, blah, blah. Look, so I got to keep asking, hey, what do you like best about what you've seen? Do you, have you seen enough to make a decision? I'm fast. I'm quick. I got to stay in agreement with the guy. I got to ask him questions. I, I can't just fire hydrant information. So this is what you're going to learn in the program. When and where to ask for the sale. Trial closing is all about this. So when you go inside sales process right here, this is one of my favorite programs inside here. Trial closes because even though it's all the way down here at the bottom of the page, Grant talks about where you can use trial closing. This is an easy way to ask for, it's it's really, a, it's a very simple way to, to ask and feel out, hey, where's the sale at right now? Dude, does this guy even like what he hears or does he not like what he hears? Does he hate what I've told him or does he freaking love what he says and I, he's ready to close? I don't want to tell him anymore about my product because, dude, the guy's ready to go. You know, so this whole program right here, there's six courses inside here that teach you when and where to do this. Break your sales process up into three spots. So I'm going to ask the question, hey, what do you like best about what you've heard so far? Right up front. Okay. Grant walks into our office. He says, Hey, is that somebody on the phone right there? Uh, that, uh, is, is that a, is that a, pro he said, is that a prospect on the phone right now? I said, yeah. He said, ask him if he's seen enough to make a decision. Dude, Grant had no idea where I was at in the deal. I said, Hey, have you seen enough to make a decision? Guy was like, Oh yeah, no, I, actually I have. Okay. Th these are the things that you guys have to know. You're able to predict how long it takes for you to close a deal down if you're able to trial close the right way. So it brings us back to the beginning of what we started this entire show about. It's about predictability. If I can predict what's going to happen inside the sale, if I know that, hey, look, if I step up to the plate, this is the pitch I'm going to get. All I got to do is be ready for it. And I've been practicing, drilling, rehearsing. I've been doing my six segments in Cardon University every single day. Dude, I'm going to hit one out of the park more often than not. So this is how you go from an amateur salesperson to an elite salesperson, not just a pro, an elite salesperson. And so for you people who want to even go further than that, the 10X Growth Conference is happening next month. So what we're doing, we've got speakers all over the world. They're actually coming here. These are all-star speakers. I've got Jay Abrahams. I've got um, who else? I got Gloria Mayfield Banks. I've got Elena Cardone, Grant Cardone, Jared Glant. Victor Antonio, Les Brown, Chelsea hey. Cross, JJ Jack Kelly, Hank Norman, tons of people. Dude, I got Bobby Castro's coming yeah. too, man. Dude, these guys, I mean, these people, you probably never even heard of these guys before. The, I mean, the, I know who those people are. I can't wait to hear him. Brad Lee, dude, I can't wait to hear Brad Lee, dude. That guy's hilarious anyway. So, guys, listen, 10xgrowthcon.com. Go there right now. Grant opened it up. You probably still have another 20 minutes left on that ticker. Buy one, get one right now. Look, buy one, dude. Give one to somebody else. Get your boss to pay for it. If you can't pay for it, listen, go find somebody who can because you never had the money in the first place. The money in your pocket, dude, it was somebody else's. So listen, 10xgrowthcon.com. We're here to help you out. Can't wait to see you in March. Guys, I'm going to be back next week. Every Wednesday, I come here live. Cardone University and the Cardone On Demand Mastermind. We're coming live from the studio.